For gamers, the 2010s have been an incredible decade for technological improvements. The decade kicked off with most folks still gaming on 720p, with DDR3 memory, HDD storage, and mostly dual-core CPUs. It closed off with AMD pushing the boundaries of core and thread counts in CPUs, Nvidia turning the dream of 4K gaming into a tangible reality, and SSDs firmly settling into the mainstream. Still no Elder Scrolls 6, unfortunately, but we will be getting DDR5 memory soon, so let's take a moment to discuss that. DDR5 will be superior to DDR4 in every way conceivable, but just how much these improvements will impact gaming may surprise you. So let's get to it, shall we? First, a bit of context. The upcoming DDR5 is the latest iteration of DDR-SD RAM, a technology that dates back to 1998. For those of you who may not know this, RAM is a type of volatile memory that's used to store important bits of data that the PC needs to be able to access quickly. It's ridiculously fast. But because it's volatile, it can only store data while it's powered. The moment you cut the power off, everything that was stored on the RAM is lost. That's enough context about RAM for this video. If you're interested in learning more, check out the videos linked in the description. For now, let's see what improvements DDR5 will offer exactly. DDR5 will improve upon DDR4 in three major areas. Bandwidth, capacity, and power efficiency. As far as bandwidth is concerned, DDR5 will support rates up to 6.4 gigabits per second at stock clock speeds. Not all modules will be the same, of course. Some will be slower, others will be faster, but we can think of this approximation as a good baseline. Conversely, DDR4 can only support 3.2 gigabits per second, so right off the bat, we're getting almost twice the bandwidth. Then there is the capacity. DDR5 will offer increased memory density. Specifically, it will allow for chips with four times the density that DDR4 could manage. In practice, this means you'll be able to buy a single RAM module that will have 64 gigabytes of memory. Slap in four of these in a motherboard and you'll have armed your PC with 256 gigabytes of RAM. And finally, DDR5 will offer all of these benefits while maintaining lower power consumption. The difference in voltage may not appear huge at first glance, only going down from 1.2 volts to 1.1 volts. And honestly, the difference won't be huge for desktop PC users. But for servers working around the clock or portable devices that need to conserve battery life, this will be a significant improvement to the overall power efficiency. The question now is, should you buy DDR5? Unfortunately, we can't give you the answer right now. Not because we don't want to, but because you simply can't buy DDR5 yet. Even though the technology has been released, it hasn't been made commercially available yet. Traditionally, DDR technologies have not been backwards compatible. In order to use DDR5 RAM, you'll need to buy a motherboard and a CPU that support this technology. And we're still waiting for the CPUs. The latest Zen 3 CPUs from AMD only support DDR4 memory, and we're likely not going to see DDR5 support until the release of Zen 4 that's scheduled for launch in 2022. On the Intel side of things, we have a similar situation. Comet Lake, Intel's latest CPUs, only support DDR4. Alder Lake CPUs, which will support DDR5, are set to release in the second half of 2021. And according to SK Hynix, the first mainstream DDR5 modules are set to hit the shelves in the third quarter of 2021. So that's the soonest you'll be able to play with these new toys. With all of this in mind, the question of whether you should buy DDR5 instead morphs into whether you should wait for DDR5. The answer, as in most cases, is that it depends. In this case, it depends on where your priorities lie when it comes to PC building. The four major areas that first come to mind are performance, future-proofing, affordability, and value. So let's tackle these one by one. If performance is your primary concern, then DDR5 is definitely worth waiting for if you're building a workstation. As we've seen, it will offer double the bandwidth and a maximum capacity that's four times greater than that of DDR4. However, if you're a gamer whose primary concern is performance, then there's no need to wait. How can we make a claim so bold, you ask? Well, we can remember what happened when DDR4 got released. It offered greater bandwidth and increased capacity over DDR3, but the in-game performance it yielded was limited. DDR5 will hit the shelves in 2021, but it will take some time before it becomes mainstream enough to completely supplant DDR4. In the meantime, the majority of gamers will still use DDR4 RAM. And since game developers want to sell their games to as many people as possible, 
they will not limit their sale figures by launching games that DDR4 will struggle with. So yes, you will see some FPS gains by installing DDR5 RAM the day it gets released, but it's best to temper your expectations. As for the capacity, you can rest assured that gamers won't need 64GB on a single stick for a very long time. Now there is still a reason other than performance to hold up for DDR5, and that's future-proofing. As we've said, DDR technologies aren't backwards compatible. If you build a PC now, you won't be able to upgrade your RAM to DDR5 just like that. You'll first have to upgrade both the motherboard and the CPU to make this happen. If you want to build a gaming rig that you can easily upgrade with new components as they get released, you'll find a lot of merit in waiting for DDR5 hardware to hit the shelves. Now as for affordability and value, this is where we have to turn really anti-DDR5. Like most new technologies, DDR5 is more than likely going to be rather expensive at launch. And this is without taking into account any supply issues, of which we've seen many lately. So if you're looking to get the best bang for your buck, we simply cannot recommend getting DDR5. For you, the best thing you can hope for from DDR5 is that it will bring down the price of DDR4 RAM. To summarize, DDR5 is the newest iteration of the DDR-SD RAM technology that will most likely be commercially available in the second half of 2021. It will offer greater bandwidth, increased capacity, and better power efficiency than DDR4. The power efficiency will be great for battery-powered devices, and bandwidth and capacity will be great for workstations. However, the average desktop PC gamer won't be able to fully utilize many of these benefits. Games just can't utilize this much bandwidth or volume. As things stand, the main reason to get DDR5 RAM as soon as it launches is for future-proofing, as this will help you to avoid any potential compatibility issues down the line. We can't comment on the performance until we get our hands on a DDR5 equipped rig, but if the past is any indicator, it will take some time before games start demanding DDR5 memory. So if you're primarily concerned with value and affordability, keep a clear head and don't let yourself get swallowed up by the hype that will soon ensue. And that about does it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. You can let us know if you have by gently tapping the like button, sharing the video with your friends, and leaving a comment. If you want to see more videos like this one, that's where you can smash the subscribe button and the bell icon. We upload a new video every week, and this is the best way to make sure you don't miss any. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.